Well, thank you so much for sitting down with me. This is gonna just kind of be, I know we're two months past your anniversary, but we're still just gonna kind of look back at your first year here, um, some of your accomplishments, some things that you're hoping to work on um, in the upcoming year. And so just to begin, what do you feel are your biggest accomplishments of your first year here in Louisville? Well, I, th I think it's the morale, getting the morale back on an upward trajectory um, within the department, handling police business. There's a sense of belief um, I believe in where we're going. Um, it's a strong department. It's a strong department, but when I arrived, it was definitely down. Um, and I just uh, needed to, to get folks in a space where they realize that the community supports them. And I think that the community has done a very, a very favorable job of expressing that. And it, and it makes a huge difference. Um, it just does. And do you feel that there are areas that you need to improve on in the upcoming year? Anything specific that you think your department may not have handled correctly in this past year? Well, I think, uh, sure. I mean, I, I'm always looking to improve. I'll never sit there and say that we're where we need to be, ever. Um, obviously, the violent crime, and specifically the, the homicides, um, Oddly, violent crime year to date is down, but when you have the homicides we're having, the, the math becomes uh, highly secondary. So the violent crime, we really have to do a stronger job of reining in. We have a lot of hiring to do. We obviously have a huge amount of work to do um, in, with the community, particularly the black community. So, I mean, we have, we have, we have large obstacles but none of them are, are insurmountable, but for sure. And when you got here, is it easier, harder than you expected? Uh, did things come up that you weren't expecting? I th COVID made it far more difficult because people weren't out. And Zoom works, but Zoom is just very different than actually being in a room with an individual. Um, it's much harder to learn a community when no one is out. Right, um, community meetings for me have always been really significant and important, and how you you really get a temperature of what the community is feeling. Those weren't occurring, so I I would absolutely say that the the reopening of society has made things much much more manageable. Is that where you plan to work on improving these relations? What are you doing to improve the community relations here in Louisville and? Are they similar to what you saw in Atlanta? Are they similar to other places you've been? I think that, I think that your cities all are struggling. Um, there's definitely a, a sense of have and have nots. I think that's in most cities. Um, the gun violence disproportionately impacts your lower income areas, which in cities is, is historically the black communities. So you're dealing with very similar issues across the cities. Um, I don't, you know, you cannot do enough in the way of outreach. You cannot do enough in the way of training officers. But the reality of it is at the end of the day, we will be judged on how we're performing day in and day out. 